Hello folks, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of Fresh Meadows right now. We're not going to go to Union Turnpike. That might be later on this month, because I want to show you how busy it gets during, uh, during the afternoon rush. But I want to show you guys something that's making me disgusted lately. And that is, I think, the most modern emergency crisis we're facing in Fresh Meadows right now. And that is an illegal multi-family housing boom. Take a look at this. Not even gonna show you the phone number. Already for rent. I literally get home and that's the first thing I see when I get home. That made me very disgusted to see that. We're gonna walk all the way down the Jewel Avenue and I'm going to show you how many of these illegal multi-family housing units just keep popping up. Here's another one. And by the way, uh, no graffiti, thank goodness, but there's been a lot of graffiti around this area lately. So, I'm thinking I might start up a Facebook group called Save Our Queens because the whole borough needs to be exposed for what's really going on around here. Now this is disgusting. Look at all the trash. That's around 73rd Avenue. This is what I have to deal with every day. This is what I have to deal with because of Bill de Blasio's ignorance ruining my town. Look, another illegal multifamily housing unit. And by the way, this is ground box. We're literally at 184th Street right now where the traffic always seems to pile up. That's what I always call this intersection and I, I literally have told the media to come over here and do a story about congestion, but they don't want to do that. And I might do a case study here on a Thursday. I want to do two case studies. So we're going to do one case study in Orbandale on Monday, and we're gonna do another one. And look at this, another illegal multi-family housing unit being built, another one. And you know who approved of this? Our mayor, Bill de Blasio. I'm gonna take you down again to Jewel Avenue because I wanna walk and show you what's going on around here because I'm just, again, disgusted what's just going on. I mean, it's humid, don't get me wrong, I just had a ride over here from Bayside, but, but I told my friend to drop me off around here because this is just disgusting. And look what we have to deal with. Cracked sidewalks, which by the way, I really hope the Blasio's gonna keep his word and say, oh, I'm gonna repair the sidewalks. Well, he better, because I'll be upset if he doesn't. Yeah, so thankfully, not that much trash, but when we get over here, like I said, this is just disgusting. I'm just beyond disgusted. I'm not even going to walk back to 186th Street and see the construction work that's been going on there since, uh, what is it, right? I can't think straight. See, here's the good thing, at least 107 keeps coming by around here, but... What's the point? They just keep doing patrols. I said, I know Officer Henry very well, the chief. So, oh, he's the inspecting officer. Same thing, but still. All right, so looks like 181st Street is being rebuilt a couple days ago. Now, they have the porta potties here, but. Let's see, are they doing any work today? All right, looks like they are making a little bit of progress. So we'll take a look and see what's going on around here. So they're still repaving the road as we speak. I will have to walk back this way, but yeah, look how far back this goes. Yeah, we may go, we may go down that way. I may walk down that way to show you what's going on. I can get back to my house in 60, from 69th, no big deal. And then I'll just end it at 69th and 
just give my final thoughts about what's just going on around here. Uh, I talked to you about the light at 179th Street. So we're going to make our way now to the park. I'm going to show you another illegal multifamily housing unit. It's currently being built. See? We have another one right here. It's being rented. Which again, that's what the Blasio wants you to do. You got more trash piling up. See, that's the problem. I honestly blame the people who are living in these multifamily housing units. Yeah, there's a dumpster. And I'll mention that on 184th Street between 69th and 73rd, they have another dumpster. So that's a sign that people are leaving this neighborhood. That people are selling their houses. Another cracked sidewalk. So we're gonna make our way to Jewel Avenue right now, and I'm gonna cut back to Wayne first to take a look at the uh, the work down there. Cause I want to see what the heck is going on down there on 181st. Cause as I said I'm just annoyed that the media won't cover it. I mean, okay, fine. If one, two, four, five, seven, eleven don't want to cover it, it's whatever. But I would expect the Queen's Courier to cover it. I would expect an article on QNS.com, but you, you're not going to want to write an article. And look how bad this road is on 179th Street. This road is supposed to cut down the Union Turnpike down there. I'll show them in. Down there is where Union Turnpike is, where you can make a left or a right. So we're right by the park. And first of all, poison ivy. Oh my God. I think I hear work going on there. I'm gonna keep it low key. So take a look at this. Spring 2020, right? Here on Jewel Avenue, right? See? Jewel Avenue. Let's see, there's stop work order. Oh, look at this. They have another order extended until August of next year. Yep. Yep. And look at this. Not even done. Look how bad this is. You tell me how this is normal. You tell me how this is normal. Right? And I said, I, I got the inspiration from the, the Save Our Hicksville page because those guys in Hicksville, I think, they're, I think they have it much worse than what we have here in Fresh Meadows. I mean, we have our problems right now. But nothing compares to what's going on out there in Hicksville. And I'll mention specifically, I, I, I've told everybody about this. Not all of Hicksville is bad. If you go south of Old Country Road, it's orderly down there. But the residents who live north of Old Country Road, they got a bone to pick with Saladino, Joseph Saladino, the town voice to base supervisor. This is what I mean. We're supposed to have a borough president right now, but Melinda Katz is too busy playing attorney general because she's too busy trying to get ready for her next job starting in January. Can't make this stuff up, folks. But remember, the bozo keeps letting this happen. So we're gonna make our way down 181st Street and take a look and see what's just going on with this construction work because it's really been a hassle for the residents who live on that street and I do feel bad for them. You know, they have every right to complain, especially to the community board and the Fresh Meadows Homeowners Association. And I'll mention that there are nice people in the Homeowners Association. There's actually, I think one person, like a couple people, They've claimed that they lived in this area since the 1960s. And they've seen it, they've seen it all. They even remember how John Lindsay screwed us here in 1965. The blizzard of 1965 where the streets weren't shoveled. So we're gonna make our way to 181st Street and then I'll wrap up the video. Because again, I, this desperately needs to be brought up about how bad our situation's getting. And, Again, 
I'm really thinking of creating a page called Save Our Queens because I think the whole borough just needs to be exposed for what's going on around here. So here we are on 181st Street. Let's take a look. This was really a mess back on uh, Tuesday. On Tuesday, this was just a big mess. And look what we got, folks. Another illegal multifamily housing unit being built. Another one. I said, you can't make this stuff up. That's what makes me feel really disgusted. And I'll let you all know this right now. There is this lady who lives on 64th Avenue by Utopia Parkway. And she has this beautiful thing there where she mentions, you know, drive safely. And she actually got the speed bumps on 64th Avenue because you have the school kids that go to the middle school and then the other kids who go down to Francis Lewis. I have to figure out how I'm going to walk around this truck. Let's see. Can I even go on the other side of the sidewalk? I don't care how dirty this is. I'm trying to get down that way. I right, said so no one's even coming down here, so. All right, as well. I right, said, so what is this big truck doing here? Such a disgrace, you know? And remember, Bill de Blasio, once again, does not care about Queens, and he certainly does not care about illegal multifamily housing units opening in Fresh Meadows. And I'll mention, I was just in my friend's neighborhood, and guess what, across the street, there's a bigger multifamily housing unit. Illegal, by the way. It's right there. Uh-oh, I think somebody's selling their house. See what I mean, folks? This is what happens when you let anarchy happen. I really feel ashamed for this borough right now. I really do. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would see any of this nonsense. And I also mention I've been listening to Michael Savage recently. I know, you may disagree with him on a couple things, but he's very rational when it comes to quality of life issues. If he ever came here and saw this, because he's actually from Queens, by the way. He used to live on Utopia Parkway by uh, up north from the Horace Harding. Look at this, people now have to turn away and now they're going out of the way to Utopia Parkway now. Just to access 73rd Avenue. This also makes me sick to my stomach. What's just going on in this area? This, this is my neighborhood? This is what I gotta put up with every day? I really am disgusted. I really am. And again, it's spreading into Long Island. That's how much that's how much this is getting worse. It's spreading into Nassau County. All right. I don't want to ramble on, but all I'll just say is we got to, you know, if your neighborhood's going through a hard time in Queens, please make videos like I'm doing because we need more people to speak up. This nonsense needs to stop. Residential streets shouldn't be torn up like that, just for a water main. That's how much of a joke this area is becoming. And also I'll mention, there's a changing demographic in this area. Now I know this is supposed to be Asian, I, I, I get that. But it certainly gives them no right to build illegal multifamily housing units. Rudy Giuliani and Mike Bloomberg would have never let this happen. He never would. And that's my point. So pray for us here in Fresh Meadows. Pray for Queens. Because Queens is just being gentrified right now because of the demographics. Oh. Thank you all for watching. Till the next one, please take care.